Welcome back to Crypto Zombies. We're in chapter 13, events. Finally, our contract is almost finished. Now let's add an event. Events are a way for your contract to communicate that something's happened on the blockchain to your app front end, which can be listening for certain events and take action when they happen. An example here, we have our event, integers added, which is going to take a uint called x, uint y, and a uint result. Here we have our add function, which takes in uint x, uint y, it's public, and it has this uint called result, which is going to be assigned whatever x plus y is. Then we have our event fired here that lets our app know that the function was called, called integers added, which we declared up here, and it takes that x, y, and a result, and then it returns result. So our app's front end could then listen for the event. A JavaScript implementation would look something like you have your contract dot integers added takes this callback that will do something with the result of integers added method. So let's put it to the test. We want an event to let our front end know every time a new zombie was created so the app can display it. Declare an event called new zombie. It should pass zombie ID, which is a uint name, which is a string, and DNA, which is a uint. We should modify the create zombie function to fire new zombie event after adding the new zombie to our zombies array. Okay, you're going to need the zombies ID. Array.push returns a uint of the new length of the array, and since the first item in the array has index 0, array.push minus 1 will be the index of the zombie we just added. Store the results of zombies dot push minus one in a uint called id so you can use this in the new zombie event in the next line all right let's do that um so here it says declare our event and we could actually see here declare the event called new zombie it should pass a uint called zombie id a string called name and a uint DNA and then that just declares our event then down here when the create zombie function is called right now what we're doing is just pushing the name and DNA of that zombie creating that zombie and then pushing it to the end of our zombies array they want us to modify this though first we would just do minus one here because we know that zombies dot push is going to return an integer and if we do minus one then we should actually first get 0, then 1, and then so on every time that we run that. So every time the create zombie function runs, zombies.push returns how many items are in that list. And if you do minus 1, then you actually start at 0 instead of 1. So then we want to fire it, and that can go right under, which is new zombie, which will take in ID, name, and DNA. And let's not forget that we need to create a uint and call it ID and assign that. So before we weren't doing nothing after we pushed to our zombies array. Now we know it returns that integer and we're saving it into ID so that when it's created, the first zombie will be zombie zero or with an ID zero and the next one, one, two, and so on. And we'll be listening for that event and once it gets to that line it realizes that we declared this event up here and then we can do something but let us try that and see let's not forget our semicolons is what i always forget okay let's just try this and we did pass so the important thing about this lesson is we're introduced to events and events first we declare the event and that allows us to later call the event or fire the event when a part of our code runs then that event happens and it can trigger something else to happen as long as you guys understand that you guys are getting events and we'll continue this on the next lesson see you guys then